Another example where an economist would have uh, thought very differently was on uh, mask wearing. You remember back to the public health officials last year, Anthony Fauci and the uh, the Surgeon General uh, at the time were explicitly telling people not to go out and buy face masks. Now, I happen to think as time has gone on, the evidence on the efficacy of face masks um, is is a bit spotted, um, and I'm not uh, convinced that they deserve their elevated place in public debates uh, as to how best to mitigate this virus. But let's put that aside. At the time, many people were going out and demanding and buying up face masks because they thought that on the margin, they might provide some additional protection to them or to those they were interacting with. Um, Public health officials came out and explicitly told people not to buy them, in part because they thought this didn't spread um, um, from people who were asymptomatic, at least that was the official line. But actually, if you if you pin them down and listen to what they were saying, they were worried that um, people going out and buying face masks would kind of use up um, a, a fixed supply of face masks, leading to fewer being available in uh, for hospital and nursing home uh, settings. Now, an economist would have looked at that and said, um, yes, that may be the case in the very short term, but you know what? Um, if this demand takes off, provided politicians don't get too involved in the function of the market, the price for face masks will go up, and that will really incentivize a big entrepreneurial drive for businesses to expand their production, to uh, run over time, to invest in new machines, um, to switch from what they were doing to, to the production of face masks. And over time, as indeed we did see in the longer term, um, that supply response will help meet the higher demand. Now, as a result of the the public health and and health position seeing this market as a zero-sum game, um, we had a a good number of weeks where we were explicitly being told not to go out and demand face masks that would have worked better than than people just um, walking around um, not wearing any sorts of protection and engaging in Uh, their lives as they did. So they're two examples, I think, of where an economist would just think very, very differently.